Hi, welcome back to a new episode of Answer My Question in 5 minutes or less. Today's question is why people keep buggering me because I'm using a ball head with my Star Adventure. Why they tell me constantly this is not a good setup, you have to remove the ball head. It's so damn easy. I take my Star Adventure, I polar align to Polaris or South Celestial Pole and then without touch it anymore I can simply unlock my ball head and move my payload wherever I want to frame everything I want in the sky. I can get the orientation I want with my camera. So why the ball head is bad? Who is right? So you are right, they are right, but you both are equally wrong. The only real objection to use a ball head is if you can't balance your payload. And that is not really because of image quality, it's because you will ruin your mount. Star Adventurer is a low budget entry level star tracker, it's not done for moving all the time heavy payload that is not balanced and on the long run you will simply ruin uh, the mount and reduce its lifespan. Other than that, all you risk, if you can balance your, your payload, is to have a lower image quality, to throw away more subs, to have more elong star elongation and maybe to have some vibrations. This setup is not as sturdy and uh, uh, vibration free as if the camera was connected directly to the uh, declination deck. Also a good ball head it costs money and uh, you see that the ball head is quite high so it's moving the payload farther from the rotational axis of the Star Adventure. This is what makes difficult to balance your payload. So, what is the objection in not using the ball head? Well, it's more difficult, it's less intuitive to frame your target. Um, but let's see how you can work this problem without the ball head. Okay, so my camera is now, well, my lens is now directly connected to the declination bracket. Now, how am I going to frame every part of the sky? I simply combine the rotation of the Star Adventurer in the right ascension with the rotation of the mount of the, of the payload over the declination deck. Below you find a clutch that is similar to the one you have in the Star Adventurer. So you undo the clutch and then you are free to spin your payload around on the deck of the declination bracket. You can frame whatever you want. So if Polaris is in that direction, if I do that, I'm going south. If I do that, I'm going at the zenith. If I'm doing that, I'm somewhere to west. And if I'm doing this, I'm framing something that is uh, in the east. So you see that you can frame everything. You just need to release these two clutch and work uh, the orientation of the payload by moving these two degrees of with these two coordinates at the same time. There is one thing that you may want to use a, a ball head for, and that is starry landscape. That is because you have an horizon that is visible in the image. You want, of course, the camera to be oriented so that the horizon is level. And so you will use a ball head, but you will not use probably the ball head in this configuration. What you will do is not having the bracket the declination bracket anymore and uh, instead you will mount the ball head on the ball head adapter put it something like so this is my Olympus EPL6 it's a mirrorless camera, it's very compact, it's very lightweight and I have mount a fisheye on it this is pretty much what I use for starry landscape the point is that you will have a fairly light setup so you mount the ball head directly on the Star Adventurer using the ball head adapter. There is no counterweight, there is no declination bracket. The setup is very compact. The camera, the weight of the camera is kept near the uh, rotational axis because the body of the ball head is in the direction of the rotational axis of the Star Adventurer. So the, the imbalance you are creating is minimal. Also, when you do starry landscape, you want them to combine the foreground with the sky. So you will not track the sky for hours, maybe 20 minutes, half an hour top. So the movement you will 
have for the payload during the tracking is just a few degrees so you will never end up on a situation where your camera will be like that completely unbalanced uh, you will maybe 10 degrees below or above your starting position so in this way you are not introducing much stress uh, and this is the best way to use a ball head so ball head yes or no who's right you or them well as long as you can balance the payload on the Star Adventurer do as you please if you are happy with the ball head happy with the easiness of the for framing your target happy with the image quality nobody can tell you nothing if you want something more then you can simply try removing the ball head as long as the payload is balanced you are not ruining the mount and you can do whatever you want